Tonight on CBS 19 News at 10, a golfer led on a different path after a traumatic accident. But faith has helped him in his recovery, and he's now inspiring others in a special Walking by Faith report tonight at 10. Now into this morning's top stories. Good morning and thanks for joining us for this CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Clint Yates. And I'm Dana Huey. A follow-up to a story we first told you about yesterday. The Red Cross is now helping a Smith County woman and her son get back on their feet. We're told a fire started by a space heater Tuesday morning burned Becky Carpenter's house to the ground. She and her son got out safely, but two dogs and a cat are still missing. This is the second time a space heater has caught fire in Carpenter's home. She says she won't be using them anymore. Testimony resumes today in the child sex assault trial of a Gladewater man. Barry Tolls Robertson III is accused of repeatedly sexually assaulting a girl from the time she was seven until she was a teenager. The victim testified Tuesday morning that the abuse ended in 2007 when she made an outcry to investigators. Robertson faces the possibility of life in prison. Looking ahead, a final vote is expected Friday on changing social studies textbooks. Tuesday night, the Texas Board of Education wrapped up the nearly seven-hour discussion, which ended in the 15-member board voting against new textbooks. All this is coming amidst charges of bias in some material, inaccuracies, and inconsistencies in the textbooks. For months, concern has grown, saying the books exaggerate the influence of biblical characters such as Moses on modern-day society. And right-wing groups say the books ignore radical Islam and modern terrorism connections. Well, an exciting announcement about the next Tyler Cattle Baring Scala next summer, benefiting the American Cancer Society. The committee released their big plans Tuesday night to kick it all off. Not only is the gala being moved, the headline singer is country music great Dwight Yoakam. This time around, the gala will be held over at Harvey Convention Center. The gala is a fundraiser to raise cancer awareness. The theme is Remember the Cause. The gala will be held June 13th. Tickets are now on sale at the American Cancer Society office on Broadway in Tyler. Well, it's a cool morning, but things may start to warm up. Let's get over to Scott with the forecast. Clint, Dana, your forecast today on this midweek Wednesday after a chilly start, a southwest wind will help warm us up today. Today will be about 5 to 7 degrees warmer on the back side of the day than we were yesterday. Yesterday we officially hit 53. We'll exceed that by noon today. Looking for highs today up close to 60, about 59. Back down into the mid-50s by the time you head home this evening. Hour by hour forecast model a map showing a weak cool front dropping south of the Red River Valley today. As it approaches the Dallas-Fort Worth area, the winds will increase out of the south-southwest. Front stalls out just along or north of I-20 and between I-30 and I-20 over East Texas. Heads back to the north overnight tonight. We'll call for increasing clouds overnight tonight and definitely during the day tomorrow. By Thursday night, enough Pacific moisture, Gulf of Mexico moisture here with tiny disturbances rotating across the state. About a 40% chance for rain Thursday night overnight, a 50% chance Friday, and we'll increase our rain chances to a near 80% chance by Saturday. Thank you, Scott, for the very latest all day long. Go to CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com. Have a good one.